A shocking story has emerged out of Goodyear, Arizona, where a man who was using the toilet got a horrific surprise from his wife after she accused him of not listening to her. Now, the story has gone viral after the woman tried to justify what it she did to her husband when the cops showed up. Talk about flushing it all down the drain. According to AZ Central, the shocking incident took place on Saturday, December 30, 2017, in Goodyear, Arizona, in a home on the 37,000 block of North 156th Drive. Police said that an irritable 69-year-old woman became so enraged with her husband, who was sitting on the toilet at the time, that she decided his time had come. Luckily for the victim, his wife same was off a little bit that day, but not by much. Officers who first arrived on the scene reported meeting the victim who was frantically hiding from his wife outside their home after she picked up a handgun and fired two shots at him as he sat on the commode. If that doesn't help you finish your business in the restroom, I don't know what would. According to police, the man and his wife, now identified by police as Linda Fawn, have been married for 32 years. Mr. Fawn told police that the love of his life almost took his life when she burst through the bathroom door with a handgun pointed in his face. Linda then reportedly fired two shots at her husband before he quickly gathered himself and ran out of the house. Maricopa County Superior Court records show that Linda told officers she was just trying to make him listen. In my opinion, there's got to be a better way to get your significant other's attention than to fling the bathroom door open before opening fire on them. Apparently, Linda thought differently and fired the two shots at close range near her husband's head as he slouched over on the toilet. This little lover's spat has now landed Linda in jail and wishing she had found a more rational way to reach out to her audibly challenged husband. Mr. Fawn reportedly told police that he and his wife had been arguing for several days before she tried to shoot him as he sat on the porcelain throne. That must have been some argument. It's a little past crazy to imagine Linda getting so worked up that she decided she would wait until her man was on the toilet before shooting him. What if she had succeeded in putting his brains all over the bathroom wall? Would she have still told police she was just trying to get him to listen? Sorry to inform Linda, but dead people don't listen. According to local news source ABC 15, Linda was arrested after police contacted her and she assured them that she was no longer armed and had put the handgun back in a drawer. When officers handcuffed her, she said, I shot two bullets at the wall above his head to make him listen to me, according to the records submitted to the court by police. She added, I wasn't going to shoot him. The problem with Linda's story is that she did shoot, and she did do in very close proximity. So she's extremely lucky she missed her husband's head, whether that was her intended target or not. If I were one of those responding officers I would probably not have believed Linda. She only missed killing her husband by inches. A search warrant was later issued on the Fawn residence and investigators found two bullet holes in the bathroom. Laughably. Linda told police that her husband would have had to be 10 feet tall to have been hit. The real facts are that forensic tests showed the bullets were fired about 7 inches above where Mr. Fawn was sat on the toilet. Linda was taken to a Maricopa County jail and booked. She has been charged with suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon and disorderly conduct with a weapon. According to court documents, this one is going to be a little difficult for Linda to explain to the judge. I can't imagine her reason, alleging she just wanted him to listen, is going to fly. What if she had actually shot Mr. Fawn in the head or shot all the way through the walls and hit a neighbor or their kid? Linda clearly needs to sit in jail for a lengthy amount of time to think about her criminal behavior which is not only a detriment to her and those close to her but to all law-abiding gun owners as well. There are most definitely better ways to get your significant other to listen to you.